Welcome to the second video publishing today. Oh my goodness, it's the day before the 2019 London Marathon. It's going down tomorrow morning in London, but here we go. 2 a.m. Mountain Time. That's right. Remember, we are banned from live streaming on YouTube for three months. Therefore, what I've decided to do, 2 a.m. Mountain Time. That's my time in Colorado. So that's 4 a.m. on the East Coast, 1 a.m. on the West Coast. And then in Europe, it's going to be, you know, obviously live for you guys when you guys are waking up on Sunday morning. So basically, we're going to go live and we're going to have a watch party. And don't worry, I'm not going to film the screen of what I'm watching, but we're going to have a watch party here in the studio for the 2019 London Marathon on Facebook. That's right, on Facebook. So my Facebook page is down below. We're just down in the description. Scroll down with your thumb there. Hit the like button on the Facebook page. And then basically we're going to go live at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. Okay, so that's really early. And if you're if you're like a really early morning person on the East Coast, you're good. And if you're a really late night owl on the West Coast, you're good. So I think we'll have a good... And then everybody in Europe, holy smokes, in Asia... What time it'll in Asia? It'll be um, it'll be in the afternoon. So we're good. Like we'll have a good audience to uh, to hang out with, talk about the London Marathon, uh, talk about the predictions that we're all gonna make down below in the comments here in a second. And yes, keyword for this vlog is Big Ben. And did you know Big Ben is? I didn't like. Why do they call the tower in London uh, Big Ben? That big tall tower, the clock tower. It's actually named, I didn't know this until yesterday, it's named after the 14-ton bell that is at the top of Big Ben. How cool is that? I love it. So anyway, that is the key words, Big Ben for London. I'm just so excited. And let's begin on the men's side first. Here we go. So the two big names that are being discussed right now all over the place are Elliot Kipchoge from Kenya, the current world record holder for the marathon distance, and Mo Farah from Great Britain. Those are the two names that everyone's buzzing about. The uh, Basically the big epic battle that's about to go down. Mo on his home turf in London trying to oh I don't know <laughs> trying to go up against the pr probably the greatest marathon runner of all time let's just call a spade a spade right now uh, but before we talk before we break down that battle I do want to talk about a few other names here we go Wilson Kipsang that's right Wilson Kipsang from Kenya has a 203 23 PR to his name 203 that's the real deal that's amazing and he has won New York City Tokyo and Berlin okay in the so he has won three of the six major world marathons around the world so you've got Chicago New York Boston uh, Berlin London and Tokyo so he's won three of the six so that's a, so that what does that tell me that tells me that Wilson Kipsang is ready for the big stage he's not afraid of a big crowd he's not afraid of the hype and he's ready he shows up on game day you know it's like Oh man, it's like that's a huge factor for any professional athlete not to uh, not to give in to the pressure that arrives on a big stage. And listen, like these marathons are a big deal. There are literally like hundreds of thousands, even sometimes some of the marathons, millions of spectators along the course. Not to mention the global audience watching live on TV. So anyway. Look out for Wilson Kipsang. He's, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i going to have my eye on him very, very closely, especially early in the race. Okay, another name, Abraham Kiptum uh, from Kenya as well. He's got a 205.26 to his name, so pretty fast, not too bad. Uh, I have my eye on him as well. And then uh, one other, Tamarat Tola of Ethiopia, who has a 206 17 to his his name and he's young so he's only 28 um so i don't know i just i was looking through all of the names entered and i'll name a few a few others but i was looking at all the names entered and i was just like man 28 years old uh he doesn't have a ton of marathon experience but he burst onto the scene with a 206 and uh as his first marathon so anyway that's a pretty good introductory marathon uh record and one more name okay i gotta mention one more daniel wanjaru from kenya with a 205 21 uh anyway I, i've seen his name pop up a little bit in the last uh yeah last 12 to 18 months so i'm gonna have my eye on him as well 
All right, let's get into this battle between Elliot Kipchoge and Mo Farah. Listen, it's like it's a lot of hype for Mo. I hope he, um, I hope uh, it's not too much pressure because it's on his home home turf. But Kipchoge, I mean, two hundred one thirty nine versus uh, Mo Farah's. So Mo Farah has a two hundred five eleven to his name versus Kipchoge's two hundred one thirty nine. That's basically four minutes, a little under four minutes difference. That's a ton of time. But I will say, to Mo's credit, that 205.11 was just six, what, six months ago, a little over six months ago in Chicago. So I would say that's a good confidence booster for uh, for Mo. And Mo's best time at London thus far is a 206.21. Whereas Kipchoge's best time at London is a 203.05. So smoking fast. Uh, so again, a three minute difference between Kipchoge and Mo Farah. And I'll also just mention like Kipchoge's going for his fourth win tomorrow morning in London. So he's won, he's won London three times. That's so impressive. Uh, just to be able to, to be that consistent. If he pulls it off again, I'm just going to, like, that's a, that's just incredible. Just incredible. And for my dark horse on the men's side, we're going with Abraham Kiptum, who has, who I already mentioned, who has that 205.26 to his name for his PR. Um, that, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a long shot, but that's why it's a dark horse. So he is my dark horse for the 2019 London Marathon. <laughs> Okay, um, my dark horse, Abraham Kiptum. So I'm just here on the computer. It is 11.19 p.m., heading toward midnight, and I'm just double-checking, triple-checking all my stats, all my numbers that I'm giving to you, the PRs and the predictions. Abraham Kiptum, I'm glad I am on Twitter and just staying updated with London Marathon News, has been banned. Abraham Kiptum has been disqualified. He cannot run the London Marathon because of a, a potential... Uh, basically, what are they calling it? A hold on one second, a biological passport violation. So, anyway, I'm not going to get into the details. Some sort of drug doping. I don't know what. I don't know all. The, I probably nobody knows the details. But Abraham Kiptum is not racing the London Marathon. That's crazy. And he just broke the half marathon world record like five months ago, and kind of came out of nowhere and did it. So took it from my, my, my I like uh, Zerzenze Tadis uh, from Eritrea. Zerzenze Tadis was the former half marathon world record holder. Anyway, I digress, craziness. This is like a breaking news happening in real time. I'm glad I'm triple checking this stuff. All right, love you guys. Roll the tape. And how I kind of come up with these predictions and thoughts is basically looking at 5K, 10K, half marathon PRs and when they set those PRs, all right? So that's kind of my process of breaking down what have they done in the last two years, three years, five years, and then, and, and because what that tells me is basically, uh, do they show up on race day? Uh, are they, are, do they have leg speed? So how do they do on the track? Cause you know, and how does that translate to the roads, to the half and the full? Let's move on to the ladies. So the two big names on the ladies side. Here we go. Mary Katani and Vivian Chariot, both from Kenya. Those two names. Watch out. But first, let's talk about a few others. Gladys Chirono of Kenya has a 218.11 to her name. And it's so interesting for me as I like chase down my first uh, marathon attempt to kind of uh, relate to some of these times on the ladies' side. Anyway, it's just fascinating to see these times. Bridget, uh, <laughs> I love that name. Bridget Ko uh, Kozgi of Kenya with a 218.35. And then Rosa uh, Darej of Ethiopia with a 219.17. So a pretty tight pack there for, I would say, like the, the next, after uh, Mary Katani and Vivian Chariot of Kenya, those next three names are probably going to be near the top uh, of this race. I'm also excited for uh, for for an American on the men's side. Like, there, like it's I don't know what's going on, but there's basically no men on the men's side for the United States going. I shouldn't listen. There are a couple, but no names that I actually even recognize. So, but on the ladies' side, I'm excited for Molly Huddle. That's right. She has a 226 to her name. Molly Huddle. She's uh, she's been doing really well at the 5K, 10K distance, but she I feel like um, 226 for her. 
for the marathon for her PR is untapped. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a pretty big drop in her PR time tomorrow morning in London. Molly Huddle, look out for that name. I'm just going to say it. I'm going with like a 222. That's kind of a big jump. I'm going with 222. I wouldn't be shocked if she can drop her time by that much uh, in London tomorrow. So look out for Molly Huddle on the, from the U.S. Okay, Mary Kitani of Kenya. Here we go. She is going for her fourth win at London. That's amazing. So kind of like uh, Kipchoge on the men's side, she is going for her fourth win. That would tie um, another, I don't remember her name, but that would tie another lady for four wins at London. That's awesome. And she ran a 217.01 two years ago at London, 217.01. So definitely a, she's got a really fast time on this course. So that's impressive. Uh, and okay, one more on Mary Katani of Kenya. She's got a 105.50 for her half marathon to her name. That's blazing, 105.50 is moving. So uh, so that means she's, she's got good speed. Now I think, oh gosh, I don't know when she set that half marathon time, but uh, I'll try and find it and post it now. So anyway, that's when she set her half marathon time. We shall see, but look out for Vivian Chariot last year's 2018 london marathon champion who's also from kenya she was the gold so here's where i'm here's where i'm at this is where breaking down the speed she was the gold medalist in the 5k at the rio olympics in 2016. not the 10k but the 5k that tells me she is still fast even though that was gosh three years ago but that's like to to uh, to, to win the 5k in the gold medal uh, at the Rio Olympics and now be pounding the ground on the pavement in the marathon. She's guy. I mean, I'm just going to say I, if I had to pick one right now, I would go with Vivian over Mary. There, I said it. I said it. Vivian over Mary for the win tomorrow morning at the London Marathon. I'm going to go with a 217 high. 217 high for Vivian tomorrow. For, for the win. And on the men's side, I'm going to make my prediction right now. Here we go. Kipchoge, 2.02.45. 2.02.45. He breaks his old time by about 20 seconds. 2.02.45. Kipchoge for the win. I don't even think... I think second place is 90 seconds back. All right? I'm going to say... Which is fast. Really fast. So Kipchoge for the win. And for the women's dark horse, here we go. Yuki Ando, that's right, Yuki Ando of Japan, who has a 221 to her name. We shall see. I don't know. That's my dark horse on the ladies' side. And question of the day, who you got? Who's winning this race? And if you want to, like, make a, make a bold prediction, go out there, go on a limb. You know, may, I'm, I'm going with Kipchoge. I think it's a safe bet, uh, but also a time prediction. Oh, man, maybe... <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble, but maybe someday we can have a little contest for who gets the closest time uh, for the men and ladies winner. I don't want to get into any sort of betting, but you know what? It'd be, it'd be fun to do a little contest at some point. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. 2 a.m. Sunday morning, mountain time. Everybody in Europe, spread the word live on Facebook. Down below is the link. Go like the page and we will go live. We're circumventing YouTube. If they're going to shut us out, we're going to we're gonna go to Facebook book and make this happen all right seek beauty work hard and love each other big ben here we go here we go oh it's going down <laughs>